Hey, what is going on, all my broskies? How are you guys doing today? My name is the Bro Man. Welcome to another episode of the Borussia Dortmund Manager Mode Let's Play Thingy Majiggy Thing. And <laughs> today we're going to be playing a couple more matches and you know seeing if we can you know get back into form with how bad we've been doing. And the first match you guys are gonna be seeing today is a game against FC Köln, which is actually a team that just recently got um, promoted into the Bundesliga. Last season they were in the Bundesliga 2, but this season, you know, they did good enough last year so they can get promoted. And here's just an example of how stupid this game is. Look at that. First of all, that guy, I absolutely outmuscle the crap out of the first guy. He goes way out of the way from the ball. And then I slide tackle this guy here. You'll see it again. Slide tackle him. He just turns around, grabs the ball, and outside foot curves it around my keeper. So that's just a stupid goal to concede. And that is how this half ends up ending, as you guys can see here. You know, half time whistle blows. And I just find so much stupid crap like that happens with the computer. Like, they score so many bad goals like that. It's ridiculous. There's really not much you can do. And all you can do is just battle back and try to score. So, right away, I decide to send Kagawa through. Send in the cross. Right to, obviously, <laughs> Ramos, who is not going to be stopped by any of those defenders. Because he's one of the best sweaty header players in this game. So Ramos just comes through, gets a nice header goal for me, and now I'm feeling like, yes, we are in this game. And it doesn't actually end up working out that way. Because, well, actually, as you can see here, like, you're going to see how crazy this is, right? I can't get the ball off of them. This is how it is all the time. They take a shot, keeper saves it, but, uh, you know, it doesn't go in. And I send another little through ball here. Here's some more good play by me. Well, not really good play, but watch this. Ramos makes the run here, takes a nice shot. Actually, it wasn't a nice shot. Look at that. What? Who would have guessed my player screws up a shot? But Ramos wasn't done there. He almost gets to that ball, but does not. So there you guys go. The game ends at a 1-1 draw with FC Colm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And if you guys are planning on clicking off the video because you're like, wow, he's doing bad again. No. No, you can't You can't click off. you you got to watch. It gets insane. I decide here I'm going to be making a team... Uh, like a different team sheet. This will be my second team sheet and this is a new formation I want to try out. So, you know, I just, hey, why not try it out? This is actually what I'm running on Ultimate Team right now. So I decided I would give it a whirl and let's see how this works out for me in this next game here. So my next game is against Hanover 96. They're a pretty solid team. They're usually mid-table. So, you know, I know they have some pretty solid players. Wasn't expecting to walk them over or anything. Just came into this game to see what I could do. But as you can see here, I actually show kickoff. Why would I show kickoff? Well, that is because somebody came here and they're not screwing around. Marco Royce absolutely fists the defense and then Chip, not Chip, I was going to say Chip, slides it right under the keeper, gets a goal two minutes in, and as you guys can see, Royce just clicking those heels. He's not messing around. He is happy he scored that goal. Really nice goal by him. His, his dribbling there was just insane. Just dodges two slide tackles then finishes it nicely. Then after that, these guys are like, nah, 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 man, we're not losing. And they come in, shoot, luckily hit the post, and we are still in the lead, one nothing. But they're not done there. I think here's just another example of me showing how hard it is to take the ball off of them. I want to start showing these. Crosses it there. I'm just jockeying. You know, I'm not tackling. I don't want him to juke around me. I'm not even controlling these players, and they still manage to get behind me. That means even the computer can't defend the computer. Like, what are you supposed to do? How do you defend that? I was going to defend by scoring more goals, so what do I do? I decide to play a sick-ass through ball right to Aubameyang, who's clean through. And to be honest with you guys, I have no idea. I wasn't expecting that to happen. When I hit through ball with Schmelzer, I was just like, oh, whatever, there's really no options. And he managed to pick this insane through ball. Amazing run by Aubameyang as well. And we just slide into the bottom corner. Now into the second half. These guys are trying to push, and I'm like, nah, you're not pushing up on me. Send a Mobile through. This is the sickest goal I think I've scored so far in FIFA. Look at that. Look at that <laughs> goal. Marco Royce. I don't even know how that happened. I actually misclicked the controller. I accidentally hit X or cross when I meant to hit LBY. You know, like just do a chip through ball to Royce because I'm running. I accidentally hit X. Plays it directly to him. Banks off his like shoulder blades. Rotates 180. Weak foot chip volleys the keeper. Like, what the heck is that, Royce? You insane beast. Look at that amazing little give-and-go play I'm doing with Aubameyang and Immobile. Remember, he runs in, rifles that one right into the top corner. And yeah, you guys were saying, oh, bro, man, you're losing all your games, man. Yeah, well, look at this. 
this is how you make comebacks. This is what you gotta do. You gotta destroy every team. Immobile just rifling that. Just stealing the deal. You just stealing the deal right there. And that is how the game does finish, guys. I do beat Hanover 96 by a score of 4 to 0. And I jump right into the next game immediately here, and you see we concede right away. This is the first game of the DFB Pokal, and this is against Borussia Mönchengladbach, and they're a really solid team. Even this year in the Bundesliga, they're doing good. Look at that little ticky tack of play I did there. You'll see it in the replay here again. Look at this. Look at this ball movement. Nice little back heel roll thing, but the keeper ends up saving it. And these guys are a really solid team. Borussia Mönchengladbach are a solid team. This is the DFB Pokal, which is the German like national tournament for all the clubs. And here you see Aubameyang pressing really hard, gets the ball, runs in on net, and the keeper just stuffs him completely. And that's how this half ends up ending. I just unfortunately can't get a goal there in the first half. But will that change? No, that was the second half. What am I saying? There was literally no action in that game. I remember that game. I thought that was the first half. And here you guys see I'm just showing Weagle. Weagle wants to play a bit, so I made a little bit of changes, and we had to play Bayern Munich next. And I was like, okay, we just lost a game. Now we're playing Bayern Munich. And here you see Falcao just destroy my team, because yes, Bayern Munich bought Falcao. So now they have Falcao as one of their strikers. And here you see Alba played down the wing, does a nice little cross right into Falcao, hits the crossbar, Goetze runs in, and scissor kicks it wide. So I'm like, oh my god, yes. But don't worry, guys. I do not. I do not lose. Royce coming through. And if you guys remember, I bought Boateng off this team. Which means they no longer have a speedy center back. And I remember that when I saw Xavi Martinez, or Xavi Martinez defending me. So I just decided to abuse Royce. So I see this opening right there in the middle. Just do a nice little power sprint with Royce. Hammer that one into the back of the net again. Royce is just an absolute beast player, and he's been, you know, he's just hes just carrying the team. You guys thought I was going to get wrecked by Byron, didn't you? I'm not even going to cut this, watch. I'm not even going to do any editing at this part, because there's no need to. Because right off of their kickoff, I just figured, hey, why not do some more pressuring? Royce runs, takes the ball again. Marco Royce, running with all his pace, cuts through the defense, finesses it right around the keeper, and Royce gets the hat-trick against Bayern Munich. Salutes to the crowd saying, hell yeah guys, I just got a hat-trick against Bayern Munich. Who can say they did that? Marco Royce can. Marco Royce carrying the team, that's what I'm talking about. Borussia Dortmund is literally Marco Royce. So, into the second half. They start coming at me, Falcao gets a nice little through ball and scores it. But, uh, you know, unfortunately for you, Bayern, it was a little too late. You know, you can come back from that. Marco Royce getting the hat trick, winning us the game easily. So, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. As you guys can see, I'm starting to turn things around a little bit. I think this formation is working out. So, I'm going to keep on, you know, working at it. And you guys do want me to buy a new striker. Unfortunately, it's not transfer season. But I do agree that I need a better striker than Immobile and Ramos. So I'm going to be looking to buy Loic Remy when it becomes transfer season again. Because he's a really solid striker. And I can't remember what... what, what bleh, I can't even talk. What the name of the person who recommended him is. But uh, that was a great idea. And I was actually thinking the same thing before I read that comment. So great minds think alike, buddy. But yeah, guys. As you can see, some of my players are starting to go up in overall. So that's pretty sick. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys.